What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another Wonder Kid showcase. Today we have a player that I think could well be the next Luka Modric. He comes out of the same club as Modric did all those years ago, Dinamo Zagreb. He's young, he's a central midfielder and he knows how to pass a football. So in today's video we're going to take a look at him, see how you can sign him at the start of the season, how much he's going to cost you at the start of your save and jump five and then 10 years into the future to see how he looks and how he progresses in Football Manager. You're not going to want to miss this one, guys. He is a absolute midfield orchestrator. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So then guys, this is Luka Modric. This is the player that we are trying to emulate. Obviously, he's had a long and very, very successful career, winning a lot of trophies, but now is 34 years of age. Now it's time for a successor to come out of the woodwork. And without any further ado, we're gonna look at that player. He comes from the same club as Luka Modric did all those years ago. If we go into our scouting, we go into the shortlist, this is the man. Tomislav Dvorak is how I'm going to say this guy's name. And looking at him right now, he doesn't look anything out of the ordinary. However, he's got one cap for Dinamo Zagreb in the league in Croatia. And he's only 17 years of age. He currently starts the game in the Dinamo Zagreb under 19s. So that sort of shows how good this guy is. And this is where I liken him to Modric. He can play central midfield, he can play deeper as a deep line playmaker on the fen. He's not the tallest at five foot nine. He's got great mental attributes and that is something that made Luka Modric very good. If we compare with Luka Modric, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Obviously guys, Modric is by far and away better. His mentals are going to be better. He's 34 years of age. That is only to be expected. And the technicals are the ones that I want you to keep an eye on as we progress five and 10 years into the future. Obviously, he's not as good as taking corners, crossing or dribbling just yet. His first touch is kind of pretty good for a 17 year old. Um, the passing is already a good starter, as is the technique. Obviously, Modric wins this 13 to nine at the moment. The mentals are pretty good. Bearing in mind, Modric has had such a sensational career. Um, I think uh, Tomislav Dovignac has very, very good mentals for someone so young. And in terms of the physicals, uh, the youngster does win out on those, mainly because he is a little bit better in the jumping reach and in the strength and stamina categories. Um, believe it or not, Modric actually beats him for pace, but this will be one that we will look forward to taking on. And you'd like to think when we get five years into the future, the Vignac will have a much, much better physical appearance. He is only 17 years of age at the moment, valued at 31k, currently on £250 a week. Let's go back to his profile. Bearing in mind in this save that I'm that I've started right now, I am Liverpool. So this is his ability based on the Liverpool squad. So one and a half stars, age 17, to play central midfield. You know what, guys? I think he's fantastic. He's going to be a ball mover for your team. He's going to be able to get your team ticking. So let's see how much it costs to sign this youngster. Um, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm kind of going to go in and around the 2 million mark. I think that should be enough to get him. They want 2.4 with an extra 40% of the sell on. If we can remove that, can we get him for two? They, they're insistent on the, on the appearance fee after 50 games. But to be honest, guys, 2.4 million pounds. I think if you pick this guy up, get him in your starting 11 and get him playing football for you, he will be the linchpin. He will be the key man in your central midfield roles. And he can grow as your team grows. So let's advance five years and see where he finds himself in Football Manager in this simulation. So we've advanced five years into the future. He is now 22 years of age and he's still playing in 
Croatia in this save. Obviously, we take a start with a club so we can actually show you guys how much this player costs for you to pick up at the start. However, my simulated database, we aren't a manager of a club. We just go in and see how they are in five years time and then obviously 10 years time. So at the moment, he's listed as a fairly determined personality, which is fantastic. Those uh, physicals have come far and away past what Modric has ever had, in my opinion, in terms of football manager. His mentals are exceeding his age of just 22 years of age. His work rate is fantastic in those central midfield spots. That passing has gone up to a very, very nice number at 16. But you can also make a tackle, put a foot in. He can mark quite nicely. This looks like a very, very good all-round player. I think if you actually... I wonder if I could do a player comparison with... The main man who everyone picks for this team, who actually does find himself at Liverpool. If we go on a comparison and compare him with, this is the sort of thing, this is the sort of look that you're looking for. Um, in terms of the averages, Camavinga wins this just 12 to 11. Um, Camavinga wins this one 14 to 13. And then Camavinga wins the physicals as well. But the difference in price that you're going to pay for these two dudes, 2 million versus probably 70, 80, 90 million for Camavinga in some instances. They're very similar. They're the same sort of age. And to be honest, I think they're going to do a very, very similar job for your team. Um, Camavinga slightly better in terms of actually being able to tackle and pass the ball marginally, slightly better technique. It's going to be interesting to see how Dovignac actually progresses into his future. How much did Liverpool pay for Camavinga? This is going to sicken me. Camavinga, how much did Liverpool pay for you, my friend? History, career stats, they got him on a free. Oh, I don't understand why Ren do this. I wanted to show how much this guy's going to cost, but unfortunately, if you've if you've been in Football Manager, you know how much Camavinga is going to cost if you try and sign him at the start. Unfortunately, in this instance, Ren let him go and Liverpool picked him up for free. But we are here for Dovignac. Uh, let's put him back in and we can take a further look at him. I think he's very, very well-rounded. He's a star player now for Dinamo. And he's already been capped 12 times internationally by the full Croatian national team. If you look at him, as you can see, very, very consistent um, in terms of his performances, averaging a 7.3 over the course of his career. And obviously, as we know, guys, the average rating in Football Manager that is a decent, solid enough performance is 6.8. So he's performing by far and away better than that what we're going to do now guys is we're going to advance another five years and see if he gets the move out of croatia be back in a sec so then guys we are now in the year 2030 and Dovignac finds himself at ac milan he has finally found himself that move to a big european side he's now valued at 53 million pounds 51 caps for his national team age 27 is a massively good return um, and as you can see, he has evolved into a very, very well-rounded central midfielder. Great physicals, very, very nice mentals as well. And as I said, that first touch and the passing that Luka Modric is so, so good and well-known for is exactly what we are pulling together here. We take a look at his career history. AC Milan paid 17.25 million for him. Now he's worth 50 plus. You could have had him for 2.4 at the start of the save. He is still averaging that 7.26 rating throughout his career. And he started to chip in with goals as well. 47 um, assists, 28 goals for the man in central midfield. Bearing in mind they've been playing him at central midfield or defensive midfield. I think these are very, very good returns throughout a long spanning career. And he's still got four to five years left to go. If we pull up this comparison again, let's bring up Camavinga because this is the one that I really think he is very, very similar to. They are now in terms of their averages throughout the board because he's better at long throws. He's better at uh, taking penalties uh, and such. He is... Um, on the averages, when you take a look at their technical attributes, he is identical. If you take a look at their mentals, he's the same. And Camavinga just edges it in terms of physicals. However, I've had a look in this save. Camavinga was bought by Real Madrid. You can now see him at Real Madrid, age 27. He was bought for £111 million. 
Dubinyak could set you back 2.4 million pounds. I think in terms of his actual performances throughout the season, um, throughout the years, they've been very, very good. Kamavinga chipping in with a few more goals, few more player of the matches. But I think in terms of actually what you're looking for someone to do in this position, I think this guy's fantastic. Very, very well-rounded. As I said, the next Luka Modric. But that is where I'm going to leave things for today, guys. If you think this is a player that you would use in your saves, especially for a bargain price compared to Camavinga, drop a like on the video down below. Subscribe if you are new around here for more Football Manager content. We've got loads of tactics, loads of Wonder Kid stuff, and how-tos coming very, very soon as we get moving forward towards the game cycle of FM22. But until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you very soon.